everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag. And the original creator for this is Ariel Bussett, and I'll link both of their videos down below. So the first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? I don't know that I would need to finish any of them. I have started quite a few that I've kind of gotten distracted from that I'd like to go back to, but two that I would really like to get to before the end of the year, um is I'd still kind of like to try to finish Vanilla by Billy Merrill. Matthew Schrappa did a review on that. I'll also link that down below. Um, it was just kind of an interesting premise, but I was, I'm having a lot of trouble get through it. And when I do get through it, I will put a review up of that. And the other one is The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin. Um, I've heard a lot of really good things about her work. I just tried reading that book on a third shift when I was working a third shift, like so 11 to like seven in the morning. And it's just, it's the beginning, it's a lot of world building, so you really have to be able to pay attention to it. And I was just like, wasn't quite able to put my entire focus into it. So I would like to try to be able to go back and start it. I mean, I'm only like two pages in. So those are two I would like to finish before the end of the year, but I'm not stressing myself out about getting around to them because I have a lot of other things planned too. The second question is, do you have an un autumnal book to transition you into the end of the year? And my simple answer is no, I don't. Um, I'm a bit massive mood reader. I just kind of read what I'm really interested in and usually I'll read something and if I have something planned to read after it, if I'm not in the mood for it, I don't usually like to jump into it because it'll make it so I'm not really as interested in the book and I will might, if it's something I'm, it, I could love it, but because I'm not at the right place to read it um, in the mood to read it, I could give it a lower rating. So I usually just try to follow my whim. So like if I read a mystery and it's put me in the mood for like mysteries, I'll continue on that vein until I'm not interested in it anymore or until something else catches my interest. So I don't really do, I don't really plan too many books. I just kind of pick one up and read it. And then whatever that puts me in the mood for for the next one, I just continue in that vein. Number three is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? The answer is yes, but I don't know if it technically counts because it's not getting released in 2017. It's getting released in 2018. And that is The Tempest and Slaughter by Tamora Pierce. I buy anything she writes. Um, if you haven't watched my five books to get to know me, one you should because I kind of talk about her for the majority of the movie. Whoops. <laughs> majority of the video. And I just, I love everything she's written. I, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excitedly, impatiently waiting for that book to come out. Number four is what are three books you'd like to read by the end of the year? Well, I mean, besides the two I mentioned earlier, there are a few. There's, there's a sapphic readathon going on in December from December 14th to I think the 28th. And I am going to post a video about my TBR for that. Or I think it's also called Women Love Women Readathon. I mean, there's a few books I'm really interested to get into for that. Um, the first one is Lambs Can Always Be Lions, Lambs Can Always Become Lions, and Thaw. And I'll post those two pictures up. I don't really have a third one um, besides the two I mentioned on the first one. Um, I just kind of pick books up as I'm interested in them. Number five is, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite this year? I don't know if it would shock me, but I wouldn't be surprised if Killing, Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin became one of my favorites um, of this year. Also, anything probably from the sapphic readathon could be. Um, and number six is, have you already started making plan reading plans for 2018? No. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a big mood reader, so I don't really make plans ahead. Um, I am still want to do the TBR Rediscovered, so I mean, I guess I'm going to be doing those once a month. But as for like specific books, not really. I would kind of like to maybe do a, another kind of like TBR Rediscover, but not actually that. But another thing where I'm kind of doing it once or twice, once a month or every other month to kind of maybe something read in a genre that I haven't ever read in before or that I don't often pick up that is really high, highly recommended by booktubers. Just something like that to kind of help me read more differentiating things just because I have a habit of just like sticking to my very few genres that I like and I mean I do love them and there's there's good stuff in them but I just would like to be able to kind of read more than that. So I guess that might be plans but other than that I don't have any really big definitive plans. So if you have any plans and if you want to do this 
feel free to do this tag. I tag all of you. And if you guys want to just say hi in the comments, I'll be looking down in the comment box. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.